in today's episode KNX Suites from Vimar. So, stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Poseidon Tech. In this episode, we will review these KNX switches from Vimar. This is 0.15.80, a 4-button KNX switch. And this is 0.15.85, a 6-button KNX switch. Inside the box you will find the KNX switch, and the installation guide. Also, the 6-button KNX switch with its installation guide. Let's take a closer look to the 4-button switch. It has 4 buttons with RGB LEDs and of course the KNX connector protected with a plastic cover which can be secured with an included screw. Similar is the 6-button switch. In order to mount the KNX switch in the wall, you will need the mounting frame for square box. This is Vimar 21603 mounting frame. Then be careful to hold the switch correctly. The arrow must be facing up and push gently the switch inside the frame. Now it's time to add the buttons. For buttons, I chose Vimar 2751. And Vimar 2751.1 with on-off symbols. Of course, you can customize your buttons by selecting a custom symbol. Add now the buttons to the switch. by pressing them gently. Finally, add the cover plate. This is Acon 2642.15 Metal Classic Cover Plate. and the switch is ready. Small, compact, beautiful. Allow me now to install the switch to my demo project. Before opening ETS for programming, we need to download the ETS database for the KNX switch. Open Google and search for Vimar 0.15.80 That is our switch, so download the ETS database. Open ETS. I will use Poseidon Tech project. A step-by-step -step tutorial of this project you will find on our previous episodes. Open Catalogs. Press Import and choose Vimar's database. Add the switch to the project. Double click on the switch. Go to parameter. From the general tab you can choose time for long action. The default is 2 seconds. From left keys tab you can choose functions for the left keys. 
you can choose push button or switch. The functions that are supported for push button are switching one object, switching two objects, scene, send value, single key dimming, toggle object and single key shutter. The functions that are supported for switch are switching on off, dimming and shutters. For example, a dimming function, the upper left button will be used for on, for short press and dim up for long press, and the lower left button for off and dim down. For this demo, the left keys will be used as push buttons. The upper left key will be toggle object. When choosing toggle object, you can select function for short press and long press. For the lower left key, I will choose single key dimming. The basing function for the right keys will be also push button. The right upper key will be toggle. The right lower key will be also toggle. But for short press, I will use on and for long press, I will use off. Let's set now the LEDs. A very cool feature that this KNX switch has is that allows you not only to choose the color of the LEDs, but also to choose different actions for on and off. So, I will choose that when the switch is on, the LED will be at maximum brightness, and when the switch is off, the LED will be at minimum brightness, so to be able to locate the switch even in the dark. Of course, you can choose another option such as medium brightness, or off, or blink fast, or blink slow. Now it's time to link group objects with the group addresses. Just remember to link to feedback group address not only the status object but also LED state in order the LED to follow the status of the switch. Finally, download the individual address, parameters and group addresses to the switch by selecting full download. Press the programming button of the switch. Since the programming is ready, add the buttons to the switch. As you can see, the upper left button controls the red light. The upper right button the green light. The lower left button the LED strip. With one button you can turn on and off the LED strip and dim up and down. The lower right button controls this demo light. So, with a short press, the light is turned on. And with long press, turned off. Let's take a closer look at the RGB LEDs of the switch. This is how the switch looks like in the dark. When the switch is off, the LED is at minimum brightness. And when it's on, at maximum brightness. This was VMARS 0, 15, 80 for button KNX switch. Thank you so much for watching. If you like my tutorials, consider subscribing to my channel. See you in the next episode.